Alrighty, how's it going guys? I'm Solo Bennett and welcome back to Carex Drifting Online. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a really easy money making method. This one is really old, but it's really, really good. And with the amount of new players that are constantly jumping into this game, I thought I would do this video to help out those players because I see this all the time in my comment section as well. People asking me how I can make money uh, as I don't know how to do it, right? So this is a really easy, easy method. But keep in mind, you will need a little bit of money. This is something that no one ever mentions in this video, is you will actually need a little bit of money first. So I would suggest that you go ahead and pick the car, whatever car that you start off with, and I would go into drift, and I would pick whatever track that you are most comfortable with. Personally, for me, my most comfortable track is the Kami Road track. I can make about $186,000 uh, per race, and I do that for about 30 minutes. Not even that, I can do that for about 20 minutes. To 15 minutes and I'll have enough money to buy the car that I need to do all the other things that I'll need to do in this video so once you've gone ahead and done that come back to this video and we'll head on to the next step okay so once you've got the money what you want to go ahead and do is you want to head down to the class 2 section so there's class 1 if you see it on the top left corner or even at the very top there you can just click across like this head over to class 2 and you want to look for this red car on the bottom left of your screen and it's called the Lynx or the RX-8 Go ahead and purchase that car. I don't know the price of it. You're just going to have to see that for yourself. Uh, once you've bought the car, you want to go to the mod section. And you want to purchase either racing or ultimate. It doesn't really matter which one you purchase. As long as you purchase one of them. Mainly because it gives you options for tuning setups and stuff like that. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you don't need a fancy tune on this. I've just gone ahead and put on 120 adhesion. Just so I've got a little bit more grip. And that's about it. Once you've done that, you want to head over to Time Attack in single player. And you want to find the track West Coast Arena. Now, as you can see here, you have to actually purchase these tracks. So this one I'm pretty sure is 400,000, just like the West Coast Arena Reverse is 400,000. So you want to make sure you purchase just the West Coast Arena. And that's going to cost you $400,000. That's why I said you're going to need a little bit of money first. But trust me, it's definitely going to be worth it. You're going to make that money back within literally 20 seconds. No joke. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into the race. And that's pretty much it. Run the course. You want to at least get between 20 to 25 seconds, okay? Don't stress about it. You're still going to make a ton of money. Even if you got 30 seconds, let's just show you how much money you can make. If, you know, by chance that you're a really, really new player, you don't know how to drive very good, you're crashing, you're really slow, let's go ahead and just slow it down a little bit, uh, just so you can see that, you know, you don't have to be crazy, crazy good at the game, just to make even a decent amount of money. So we're at 25, 26, 27, 28, right, 30 seconds. Let's say you did 30 seconds. You still made $339,000, okay? So even if you're a really fresh player, you're not the best at the game, don't panic about it. Despite what people say in their videos, it drives me insane. Oh, you've got to do specific amounts of uh, seconds. It's got to be the specific time. No, it does not, guys. You can literally go as slow as you want. It just means that the, the slower you are, the less money you're going to make. So if you want to make the most money, then yeah, go for it. But honestly, I don't think it's worth it. You don't you shouldn't have to go hard and all super sweaty on this just to make a little bit of money. It's honestly not that difficult at all. If you can just go ahead and just chill, chuck some music on, maybe put your headphones in, go and have a drink or whatever, and uh, you know, just do this in your spare time whenever you get bored between between drifting, you know? Just go ahead and do a few laps. Even drift the whole thing if you want to, just for a little bit of extra drift practice. Look at that, right? I got 444,000 for a... What, what time did I just get? I don't even know what time I just got. I wasn't even looking. I think I got 23 seconds? Something like that, 23, 22? Something like that. That was really, really easy, right? Nothing to it. That's literally all you got to do. You'll never have to worry about it again. You'll never have to grind out those maps ever again. And you get a ton of XP while you're at it. Now... The thing that people always say is, oh, you know, just play the game how is it how it is, why would you do this, this is cheating. In my opinion, this is not cheating. If you want to talk about cheating, then maybe we should talk about the Kino mod and, you know, the ability to change engines and the ability to, to teleport mid-map while people are on console. Now, in my opinion, I think that's exploiting the game. 
uh but that's a whole new video in itself but you know it is what it is you can't do much about it but this is a great method for new players that want to just make a ton of money so they can spend more time actually practicing in the game because that's the most important thing with car x is practice 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 not spending time grinding out money right so if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video for the algorithm and be sure to go and check out the channel because i got a ton of content as well also all my links are in the description for all my playlists and all that good stuff and with that out of the way guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one